Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Underneath the standards in the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm just going to get down to it. You know, watching these uh, uh, false prophets out here on other brothers' uh, channels. You know, and every uh, month or two, we have to go into this constantly. But uh, it's up to you, the, the sheep of Israel, all right? Who are you going to listen to? You're going to listen to the man of the Lord or the man that's just filling his own belly. Okay, so uh, I got a couple of precepts that I just want to break down to you on what to be on the lookout for, all right, <clears throat> out of these wicked uh, pastors and false leaders of the flock, all right, that's in Micah 3 and 1, and I said, here I pray you, O heads of Jacob and you princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? So that's like the spirit asking them, what are you supposed to be doing, you know? You're supposed to be hating the evil and loving the good, okay? And leading men aright, man. But instead, when you get to Michael 3 and 2, it says, Who hate the good and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones. And that's what you so-called uh, fake pastors have been doing, man. Now, it's not hard to tell, you know, these people in the mega churches and with their own parishes, so to speak, okay? They're not giving you uh, uh, any remnant of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai, man. Because if that was true, you'll know that you're the chosen people of Israel, all right? That the Lord is only coming back to redeem the small remnant of Israel, not all of Israel, which is two thirds of you are going to be destroyed due to uh, uh, your wickedness, your lack of knowledge. Okay, that's what's going to happen to two thirds of Israel. So he's not here for all of Israel. Three, uh, uh, spiritual Israel, they push this bullshit. Okay, where it goes by lineage. Okay, the seed of Abraham through the spirit, not a color. I don't, I don't understand how we're still stuck on the color phase of, uh, of the word of the heavenly Father. But it's not by color, man. Okay, Israel has many shades of brown. Okay, and some of Israel does not have the color that you would think that an Israelite would is, is supposed to have, okay? They're not teaching the confusion of faces. All right? Micah 3 and 3. All right? And that's, that's, that's plucking off flesh and the bones off our people because if you go to uh, Ezekiel, the, uh, I believe it's the 37th chapter, I believe, it's supposed to be he's supposed to be putting sinew and bone back on the people and building them up man and letting them know okay who they are it's 36 Salaki no 37 37 okay you're supposed to be doing that man you're supposed to be prophesying to the bones man and that's what they're not doing. All right, to put the sinew and the skin back on, but instead you got these pastors like these TD fakes, uh, uh, Kerflow Dollar, and a whole slew of uh, miscreant uh, uh, charlatans on the pulpit doing the most to deceive. Okay, let me get get some more scriptures. All right, but that's what. Uh, plucking the skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones is who also eat the flesh of my people and fillet their skin from off of them and they break their bones and chop them in pieces as for the pot and as for flesh within the cauldron they shall 
then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at this time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Okay. So, getting out people to err is one thing, man. Like he's going to describe in verse 5. But, you know, you devouring our people by not teaching them the truth through the Holy Scriptures. Okay, because when you read the uh, scriptures, it says Yahushai came in the volume of the book, man. And if you're not teaching according to the word and the doctrine that's in that book, then you're against Yahushai, man. Okay, verse 5 it says, Thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that make my people err, that bite with their teeth and cry peace, and he that put it not into, into their mouth. They even prepared war against him. Alright. And who are they paying, preparing war against? Yahweh Shai. Okay. Go to uh, Michael 2 and 11. Let me read from 10. It says, uh, Michael 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, and even with its sore destruction. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and of strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. Why? Because our people are sottish, okay, and stiff-necked. Like it says in uh, Jeremiah, teach unto us smooth things, okay. I believe so in Jeremiah it says that and look man how people are quick to go wrong and never to go right man so if they're teaching the things that you you like to hear or it, it sits well with you then they're not men of the Lord man okay because in order for this truth to sit with you you gotta you have to uh, uh not struggle with it but it has to come into a reality thing with you, okay? And you have to search it out, man. But if they're just giving you smooth words, you're not searching that out. If they're saying all people can make it, that's not a, a feeling of, well, you know what? I got to uh, search out and make sure that I am the one, okay? Because it says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's nothing to fear and trembling. Trim tremble about you know everybody can make it that's that christian doctrine bullshit man and a lot of our people are going to get burnt up because of that go to isaiah 56 and uh Fifty-six and ten it says his watchmen are blind; they are all ignorant; they are all dumb dogs; they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They are; they all look to their own way, every one for his gain, from his quarter. Okay, and that's what these big conglomerate uh, uh mega churches do, man. All right, they look for their own gain, man. Okay, but it's the Lord, the Lord on the on the uh, sending out these 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 fake watchmen. All right, he wants. To expose them, all right. And you, you people in Israel, man, y'all have to wake the fuck up, man. Things that these uh these pastors are teaching, it just it should. This is 2018, man. It should not sit sit that well with you anymore, man. You didn't heard these uh same pastors. Preaching vain doctrines and, and babbling on for for years and years now, and nothing has changed on the face of the planet. But 
But you see, as soon as the men of the Lord come on the scene, man, things are reflecting in a different light now, man. We're turning the, uh, the tables and breaking down the strongholds, okay, as the scriptures say, of Edom. And that's why this place is crumbling, because we, we're pushing the vibration of truth out here. We don't know what they're doing, which, when I say them or their they are doing I'm talking about these uh, wicked ass shepherds man cause their their logic or, or their doctrine leads to nowhere man okay leads you back to the same place Verse 12, Isaiah 56 and 12. All right. And it reads, uh, Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine and will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Abundant. So that's them, them pastors um, pushing out false. Uh, uh, doctrine which is one of them is the prosperity doctrine all right the strong drink is is this philosophy of this christianity which is edom's christianity okay so they they, they couple that together man and you you jakes a swoon man y'all y'all uh, uh gathered up and led off to the to the slaughter man all right but you gotta watch out for guys like this man like T D fakes up there, he's <laughs> he's not one of the people, man. He's putting y'all to sleep. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something about that in a minute. This is Ezekiel uh, thirty four and two. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy, and say unto them, Thus said the Lord Power, unto the shepherds, woe be on woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves should not the shepherds feed the flocks and that's what Yahweh uh, required of the shepherds okay do his son Yahweh Shai alright that's what they're supposed to be doing any man that's not doing what the word says to do it's going to be woe and destruction going to him man that's what that word woe is Any man that's out there uh, leading a, 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 a church, so to speak, or a congregation, and only to feed themselves, destruction be to you. Okay? I mean, not feeding the flocks with what? With the with the uh, word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shad, man, out of this book. If you're not doing that, then you're going to perish, man. The Lord is, is sure to stricken you down, man. Okay? Let's go to Romans 13 and 1. All right? Because this is what it all goes down to. First, they strip away your, your heritage. And that's uh, that's in the scriptures too. Give not thy honor to another uh, nation of people. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? So... The thing with your Israelite, uh, you know, uh, the power of the Most High is for you and you only, okay? Salvation is for you only. Repentance is for you only, the nation of Israel, all right? And all these other nations are going into slavery under you only, the nation of Israel, okay? All that's being stripped away from you by these wicked ass pastors, man. All right. But let me get this Romans 13 and 1 because this is a part of the 501c3 charter, man. All right. They're going to use this. 
let every soul be subjected unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of Yahweh. Okay, the powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. Okay, and we know that's not not true because Esau has his his power, which is <laughs> Satan, man. Okay. So they're going to use this to try to get people to take that chip, man. That's what they're going to do. All right. And they setting you up with the okie doke through these fake ass pastors, man. Be it the men of the Lord, man. We're warning you against this because we prophesy against them, man. And what are we doing? We're telling you this before it even comes into view. And we're telling you that in these churches, they're going to tell you that that's all right to take that chip. Why? Because let every soul be subjected onto the higher powers. And they're going to twist this, this scripture, man. All right. And then you're going down to verse two. It says, whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of Yahweh. Okay. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So we know underneath the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, we are to resist. Okay. The powers that uh, uh, are of Edom. Okay. What this scripture is talking about right here is uh, uh, being subjected onto the powers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And the men, such as the men of the Lord. All right. All right. We're supposed to be uh, uh, underneath them. They're supposed to be leading you. Okay. And if you don't uh, get led by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, by these. Men that are set up by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which are the elder apostles and the laborers up under them, you you're gonna get damnation, man. Okay. And that's what the scriptures really mean, man. But they're gonna twist it so you have to believe in this government and uh when the scriptures clearly tell you it's not your trust in Egypt, man. Okay. So these two scriptures right here are talking about being subjected on to the powers to be such as uh, 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 the elder apostles on down man but first and chiefly uh, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai okay that's what powers you better be on to man and damn this world man this world is crumbling alright so yeah that's that's my, my take on the uh, wicked pastors that's doing the, the bidding of the wicked elite, man. For that 501c3 charter money. Alright. Leading our people astray, man. But when you uh when you hear these guys talking, man, think of these scriptures right here. Micah three and three and one. Alright. Micah two and eleven. Isaiah fifty six and ten. Okay. Ezekiel 34 and 2. Alright. Think of these scriptures, man. And then think about what you have read also. Okay. And see if it's con contradictory to the uh, holy scriptures, man. But these pastors, they, they try to uh, mind boggle you. Alright. Switching up uh, uh, verses. And the Spirit of the Lord ain't talking to them, man. And that was a beautiful show uh, that brother in South Carolina put together with TD Fakes, okay? And other shows that other brothers then did as well, man. Okay? So these are your, your the scriptures to think about when you're, uh, when you're set against these evildoers, man. Think of these scriptures, man. All right?